Lisa, I'm here with Unthread Moon Man. I want to bring a video to you guys. Um, in this video game, video game, in this video, guys, I want to talk about prayer. And I want to talk about the importance of a, of, of, and the power that we have in our prayer. And the importance of, and the power in having a good prayer life. A prayer life that is just, that's not our, our self-focused, but other focus. Um, one thing that we've seen in the, in the news, and I, I haven't talked about it on this channel, is a lot of um, cops doing a lot of things to not just black people, but people, period. But it's highlighted um, because it seems like it's happening more to black people for whatever reason. Um, and and, and uh, people want to say the cops are this, and these are Christians. I'm not talking to the world. I'm talking about those who, who are believers. They talk about the, the cops this and the cops that. I am not pro-cops. But I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not, well, listen, I'm not going to say I'm not pro-cops. I feel like the, 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 the police officers have a job to do. And that job is not going to be easy some of the time. Um, but it's the idea that we have people that's fighting for our rights and protect us. And the whole police force is not... It's not those cops that are doing the, the evil things getting away with it. So I am pro-cop, but a good cop who follows the law, who, 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 do they, who does their job correctly. I don't care because you, you can get away with something. That don't mean you have the right to do it. But I ask people, how much are you praying for these cops? How much are you praying for, 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 for the cops that are good cops? Praying that they go home. Because you got to understand something. Their wives and husbands... They worry, are they coming home tonight? So are, are we praying for them in, in that aspect? In the second aspect, those cops that are dirty cops, that are wrong cops, are you praying for those? Are you praying for their hearts? Are you praying for their hearts to be better? Right? That's what I'm saying, the importance of prayer life. Do you pray for the, 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 the first responders? The people that put their lives on the line to go in first? Do you pray for the, the firefighters who goes um, goes in and... and, 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 and and just jump in the fires to save people. Are you praying for those, for these, for these um, different people? See that that's what I mean about prayer life. You want to say where well, the government, you know, you feel like the government is doing so much um, evil. Are you praying for this government? Are you praying that the government really be held accountable? Are you praying that God, you know, put put a light on things that He should? That's what that's 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 the meaning of this prayer. Instead of complaining and murmuring about things, how about let's go into our, 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 our prayer life? I remember, I want to give a quick testimony. I remember um, I used to do, um, I used to drive a, um, a little minivan, I mean not a minivan, a little, a little 16 passenger van um, for a living at one point. It was a cool job. I, I liked that job. You get to drive or whatever, see different things. Um, but I remember in the morning time, I would be going to pick up people to, um, to take them places that they need to go. And I remember in the morning time, I'd be going to a, 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 um, a, a, a town over. And it'd be a, a long drive. And I remember I used to listen to the radio. And there was highlight the um, sex slave world and everything. And how some of the places that, uh, how, 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 how gruesome the, the sex trade is. So I remember just, just going in prayer, just saying, Lord, you know, I, I, just, I just want I just want to just be in, I just want to intercede for these people who are who are doing this uh, and the people that are being having the sex slave done to them. And I remember going in prayer for them and and, and I remember like just 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 hearing all this negative and I just started praying and praying. Like I remember not even a month later um, they did like a, a show uh, to highlight that again and, and, and they were saying that it was so much good news that they was able to help so many different people and, and, and I just attribute that to prayer. I just, I just believe that just by us being an inter an, an interceding for people that that really helped the, 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 the situation and, and it's not just that situation, that's something I just want to highlight because I remember as I was speaking but I really believe in that, that Christians, we should be intercessors. My mom used to tell me when I was young, the only reason why Jesus haven't came back yet is because the people are praying for the world and the, the world is still still not as crazy as it's supposed to be. In other words, she was saying that it's because of the saints was praying that a lot of the evil that, the, that, that that's prophesied in the Bible is not happening yet. And I believe that. 
I truly believe that. And I believe that if we look at the world, I think the church is the gauge of everything. And when the church is evil, the world is a lot more evil. When the church is good, the world is still evil, but but the church was for the long time church in America helped Amer held America accountable. You know, um the, the church in, in in America was like, okay, um, for instance, um cheating on your wife that was that that was shunned upon in the church and in the culture if they did it they tried to hide it but now it's all out in the open now they got websites for cheating so I, and you look at the church you know what i mean you got a church full of people that cheat on their wives same thing with the homosexuality um it, it, it was shunned upon in the church for homosexuality and now it's cool in the world and now you hear some churches saying that you shouldn't judge people on that. You should judge people on the character, on the content of their heart. That's how they should be judged. But the word of God goes staunchly against that. But the word of God says homosexuality is a sin, and we should hold people accountable for that. And, and I'm not talking about we go out there and murder them, and murder them, or murder them with our words, or make them feel bad. But we in love tell them that this is wrong and this is why it's wrong. But we don't do that no more. We don't we don't intercede for people. We don't we don't intercede in prayer no more. And, and and this video, the importance of interceding in prayer is to is to say, let's use our prayer life to speak for someone else that maybe can't speak for themselves. Some people may not believe God, but if our faith is strong enough, we can believe God for them. There's a lot of people that's in my life that are not saved and I'm believing God to be saved. I, it's a lot of people that I make sure that when I'm around them, well, I make sure that I walk like Christ anyway, but I make sure that around them, if, if, and the more important is that I, 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 I walk like Christ. Now, to be fair, I try to walk like Christ, period. No matter what it is, no matter what I'm doing. But when we get around the unsaved, we really need to, 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 to walk more like Christ. Man, that's a video in itself. But um, I, I just hope you guys understand that when you talk about prayer life, and this is going to be in the prayer um, prayer series that I've been working on for the whole year, the focus this year is prayer. When we're talking about prayer, we, we, we have the power to be intercessors. Intercessors. We got the power to intercede for people, intercede for your kids, intercede for your husband. You should be praying for your husband like you pray for yourself. You should be praying for your wife like you pray for yourself. Um, single individuals, you should be praying for your husband or your, your coming husband or your coming wife like you pray for yourself. You should be praying, single people, this is good, you should be praying a prayer that, Father God, get me ready for them. Don't get them ready for you, but get me ready for them. The next hour, I'm Third Movement. Have a good day.